Okay, so Wayne, is it Pasek or Pasek? Pasek, I thought Pasek. so. Okay, so Wayne has been a longtime buddy of mine. I see him every time I go into City Oyster, almost every time. Sometimes you're not there, and I'm like, where's Wayne? <laughs> but um, when we put out for Call for Bartenders, your name came up over and over and over again. You are one of the most popular bartenders in all of what South Florida. What sets you apart? You know, I've been doing it a long time. And I think that's what it is. Literally a long, long time. Yeah. A long time. I bartended the Last Supper. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it was it was a good party. Actually, <laughs> so I've been in Delray for the twenty after party years. Wasn't so good. I've been well, in Delray for twenty years. You've been there for at least twenty years. But if you put that on the resume, you're in. You're in. So so it's a long time. So I've met so many awesome people. Delray is just a an amazing town with just such a good core of people. So. Yeah. Being somewhere for so long. I mean, people walk in, they haven't been there in 10 years. Yeah. And they walk in, and just before I walk over, like, hi, I don't know you, <laughs> something clicks in my head, and I go, what's going on? It's been 10 years. Yeah. And, and it just kind of, yeah. you know, so, and we treat people good there. And You do. Stuff, you I know, mean, and I'm fun. telling you, he, he makes the most amazing drinks. Like, I'll just order a tequila soda with with lemons and he's like muddling the lemons you know he like takes good care of the drink he doesn't just g give you a regular drink. half ounce of love yeah, yeah you do yeah, yeah, all yeah, right yeah, yeah. so what are you making uh, what love drink well, are you making for I, us I, today yeah. when i heard i had to do this how lucky i was i said uh, what how am i going to do it and i heard once or twice or a thousand times <laughs> that, you, uh, <laughs> that you actually went to paris and i was also in paris coincidence Maybe. At the same time? Maybe, yeah. Well, I was there maybe, maybe here. Maybe the same time. Maybe three we're, weeks earlier. We're just, we're not, I feel like there's another story here. We're, we're, we're not, oh, uh, Wayne. We're not prepared to announce that at this time. Um, so, and then I read something in a periodical that you like gingers. Yes. So, Paris and a gingers. A periodical. A periodical. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A really respected periodical, uh, I'm sure. You ever see, there's a haircut periodical. <laughs> and uh, you're actually on the cover of last yeah. week. Uh, so uh, the headline was tragedy. <laughs> Tra <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, no, it looks awesome. So what can I do? So we did a French seventy-five but gin. You, you invented that, right? I, no, I, I named it after uh, Suzanne's. I trip. really thought no, you it, did. It was can actually. We go with that? It was, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Wikipedia and see what it, what it does. But it was uh, invented actually in 1915. A week before Suzanne went to Paris. No. <laughs> so, uh, oh. Oh. No, uh, <laughs> so uh, it's named after French 75, which is our artillery gun. It was the first gun that you didn't have to load in the front. Uh -oh. And it recoils, and they say if you drink enough of them, you're going to feel the recoil. Oh. And that's what it was named after. Ooh, but, it's got, but it's got gin and champagne, so you can drink oh. it all day. Drink it in the morning. Drink it in the that morning. That sounds dangerous. And, uh, it does. Yeah, the yeah, champagne yeah. scared like... Like hangover city is yeah. what it sounds like. Well, we use good champagne. Okay. And, and okay. good champagne, good gin, and uh, so it turns out all right. So it's pretty, sp the good thing, it's kind of simple. We like simple. Uh, simple's good in the morning yeah. and, and, and for day drinking, it's kind of simple. I was going to shave some coconuts and uh, I decided not to shave some coconuts. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. You start with some ice and a mixing glass and you just go a three quarters ounce of lemon juice. We're going to double it up since... Eric we and Suzanne are drinking it. Oh, yeah, and there's two of you. <laughs> and it's also uh, three quarters of an ounce. If you of think I'm getting more than syrup. a sip of this, you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're really? This looks amazing. What is simple that? Syrup. Well, that's no, simple you're going to drink it all. Is that's what I'm simple saying. syrup. Oh, We're sh no, I'm not going to drink your drink. We have two different glasses. <laughs> okay, then, good. Oh. Each cocktail, I use uh, uh, elderberry and flues blue blue coat rum. Okay, this is where I get a little. Wait, like, that's rum? Oh, gin. I'm oh, sorry. Gin. I'm I sorry. Like, Wait. Sorry. I get a little worried when things are infused. But, well, but, if it's just, but if it's done right, especially it's just, like elderflower, but, but What's it's gonna, elderflower? but it's just going to add to the flavor and the complexity of the cocktail. You know, I mean, gin, gin is awesome and, and gin's got He's lots of different school. profiles. This is old school gin. Uh, I, yeah. This I, is it, not the hip new, rightfully hey, so. everyone that's cool is drinking gin. This is like from old school. Just, you know. How about that? How about that? A traditionalist. <laughs> There's nothing like wrong with beef eater. No, 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 no. <laughs> So after we do that, then we blend, like I said, two ounces. So two ounces, four ounces of gin. Then we just kind of shake it up. Oh, that's, that's good. Do they teach you that in school? It's like, I feel like, yeah, yeah, I yep, really yep. feel like that. Before we start there was an shift, art to the shake. We stretch out and then we kind of shake it and stuff like that. It's harder than it looks. Wait, it's have you done the champagne yet? No, easy, Eric. <laughs> 
Eric's very impatient. Wow. Wow. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, Eric, <laughs> Eric, I got this. <laughs> And then How long have you been doing this? <laughs> Chop <with> champagne. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, it. yes. That Top does with some good champagne. Really good. Yeah. Now, is there a garnish? Because they always yell at me for I grabbing the drink before the garnish. And then we put a little... <laughs> okay, but here's, here's, my, here's my question. Like, it's not mixed. So I'm going to drink the champagne first and then get to the gin. Oh. Yeah, but when you pour it in there, it, your favorite word, it infuses the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, uh... You go home, shake some champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 so. Good point. <laughs> so, so Asa here is, we should have mic'd him. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's got some zingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you, you don't He's the Batman to, to your Robin. Yeah, you or, the, or the Robin to Wait. your Batman. Cheers, okay, guys. Cheers. Right. Enjoy. Oh, look, Thank there's you. one. Oh, cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Happy. cheers everybody. Yay. All right. I'm going to see how this elderflower tastes. Oh, my gosh. I might start drinking gin. Oh, gosh. Good That's you. good. That's good for you. It is good. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. That is super dangerous. Yeah. About it. That's we're like all, we're the best mimosa I've ever had. We're all over at home. Yeah. All yeah. right. Wayne Passick, City Oyster. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Go check out City Oyster and ask for Wayne. He's probably there, so you probably don't even need to ask. Him, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're always there. Right Are you there tonight? I'll be there tonight. Okay, I might o'clock. stop by tonight. And say I'd hi be to you. awesome to see you.